Hello everybody, my name is Captain Canadia and welcome back to Fallout 3. Now, I believe in the last episode, we did stuff where we did Project Purity, met the Enclave, watched your old dad uh, sacrifice himself so we, so we could go on. All that other fancy jazzy stuff that we did in the last episode. And now in this episode, we are going to continue on with... Sorry, I gotta get used to the Pip-Boy again. I'm playing, I'm playing a lot of Fallout 4 recently and Fallout 3's Pip-Boy is kind of different. So now we are going to continue on with the Wasteland Survival Guide, where we need to go to the Arlington Public Library, which is off over in that direction. Although we're going to need to be very careful here because there are those guys over there, and they don't mess around. I don't know, what's this door? Where does this door go to? Door to the sewer. Don't think I want to go into the sewer right now. No thank you. And also, fun little fact. You'll see that if I put my gun away... Then you're going to want to give it a few seconds here. I actually got the... Uh, the immersive UI mod to start working again so that this stuff at the bottom only shows up when my gun is actually out. So the rest of the time, the rest of the time it's not showing up so we can have the whole immersion feeling. And I also don't need, I also think that, I think that that marker stays when the rest of my UI goes. Hold on, we'll see in a second. Yeah, that one stays, so I don't need to constantly keep clicking to pull up my compass to see which way I need to go, because that marker over there points me to my quest objective. So yeah, we have the immersive UI back. As, as, as you may recall, the last few episodes didn't have it because it was bugging out and wouldn't actually show up and whatnot when I click stuff. So yeah, but now we have it back, so we can actually have that nice little immersion feeling again. Okay, whoa, we had a little bit of a stutter there. Don't like that. Gonna save. Oh my goodness. Okay. That was a crashing vertebrate. What is Oz? Talon Company everywhere around here, apparently. Hold breath. Or not, okay. I guess we'll just take him down. Ooh, and this sniper's not suppressed though. Oh crap. Okay, nope, we're good. Got him. Oh shoot. Ah, someone over there with a plasma rifle though. Come on, come on, come on. Crap, miss. Okay, I need to switch guns because that takes a lot of ammo. Okay, what's on five, six? Oh crap, he's here. What is that? That's a, okay, that's a flamer. So as long as he doesn't get too close, we can take him down. Got him. Okay, we're good. Whew, it's all good. No need to panic. All right, you have... Oh, I forgot I had this mod. <laughs> since the long since I played this, I forgot some mods, some of the mods that I had. I forgot they had a Fallout 4 loot UI. All right, so we got, we got 10 millimeters. Ooh, micro fusions, I'll take those. Plasma rifle. Uh, take the drained ones too because this is running in New Vegas' engine so we can repurpose those. Alright, let's come over. Oh, I need to reload. Mine's out! Forgot about the mines. That crap hurt. Okay. Hold on. Let's go. Uh, do I have Stimpak's favorite? I do with them on 8. Ooh, okay, took care of that problem. Ooh, pulse grenades, nah. 
Talent, you see, Talent Combat Armor actually looks kind of cool. It's just that I'm not using it because we have the good old Chinese Stealth Armor. Although, actually, what's my carrying capacity at? Because I think that stuff is kind of valuable if I can carry it. Wait, 130 out of 200? Ah, what the fuck? Excuse me? What in the actual fuck was that? Did I just randomly get blown the fuck up by something? What the hell? I was just trying to do some fucking looting, but I mean, okay. Okay, you just have melee, it looks like, because you're not that big of a deal. So I'm actually going to try to take out the flamer guy first. Come on, hold still, hold still. Or don't, that's fine. I'll still shoot you either way, but I was just hoping you'd make it a little bit easier on me. Okay, now switch. Ouch, that hurt. Bullet time, go. Okay, get that thing, get that thing off my face, please. Bullet time. Damn! Okay, now let's quick save again. Simply because I don't want to get blown the fuck up by whatever the hell that was again. There's that stupid mine that got us last time. Alright, let's be scanning around for something. Okay, apparently it's just a vertebrate that carpet bombs the absolute shit out of us if you walk over there. So I think I'm gonna stay the fuck away from there. Cause I don't feel like getting fucking carpet bombed. Yeah, not again, no thank you. Bottle cap, 32 caliber. Oh yeah, let's open this dude. How much does your armor weigh? Ugh. Weighs 25 pounds. It's only worth 109 caps. Um, how many caps do I actually have? Inventory 386. Um, uh, for 25 pounds, though, no, I'm not gonna take it. Cause it's gonna be a little while before we even get back to where we're going. Okay, I seriously have no idea what's up with all this frame stutter, but I'm not liking it. I mean, if we didn't have so far to go, like if, if, I, if I knew, I'm gonna pretend that's normal. Like if I knew that I wasn't, like, like if I knew I wasn't gonna be in this library for so long, then I would say, sure, I'll just grab that armor and carry it with me, but there might be something better that I find inside this library. So I don't really feel like carrying around 25 pounds of armor when I don't need to, when it's only worth 100 caps. Hold it. This area is under... Whoa, calm down. You're awfully brave. I'm searching for the records from the library. It seems that we have similar goals in mind. Whoa. It's rare to meet someone who has... I am senior scribe here. Does it involve money? I really like money. Plus, I actually really need money. I don't even have $400. I find that to be so with many wastelanders. It may in... But before you receive any reward at all, you will have to be willing... <laughs> I'm in. Mmm, money. Okay then, Mr. Krabs. If nothing else, but to the point. My task here is collect to collect the written works. Although most of the pre-war books have been destroyed, there. 
So return Turn here with, with any books, books that you find. Or you. I will. I have people works. You have Dang it. Can you help me access the lot? Li the front desk computer has access to the card catalogs, but it appears now you might be able to find the central computer further in there. I'm a skull, I'm not a Yeah, but you also have some knights here with you, I'm pretty sure. So you can't like send some of your knights with me. Whatever. You freaking pussy. Like, I'm 100% sure if this is supposed to be like some knights or something here. But you won't even send them to help me because you suck. Also, you have a laser RCW from freaking New Vegas on your back. I'm pretty sure you can be a fighter if you want to. Cause those things can be pretty. Cause those things can be pretty good. The urge to take those when I just saw them because I didn't. Put your service. Shut up. The urge to take these when I just saw them because I've been playing so much Fallout 4 recently. Like just, oh my goodness, it's it's bad. Like I want to take those. So yeah, see, look at this. She has. No, oh no, not only knights, but she has freaking paladins with her. With freaking laser rifles. I think that might have even been the laser shotgun variant. Yeah, laser rifle, Chinese assault rifle. You can't at least send one of these paladins with me. It's like, oh, I'm not a fighter. No, but these guys are. Also, I'm going to quick save in case they don't like me taking their shit. Um, 556, 556, five, five. Oh, wow, that's a lot of... <laughs> That's a lot of 556. Five, I will not object because I need that for my baby here. Anyway, uh, Michael Fusion. Need that for the plasma rifle. Which is this thing. Oh, nope, not that thing. Not that one. I forgot my freaking hotkeys. Give me a second. Yeah, this one. Number four. A322's plasma rifle. I showed you guys how to get this in. Was it the last episode? It was either the last episode or the it was either the last episode or the episode before that that I think I might have showed you guys how to get this. I'm fairly certain I recorded how to get it. I'm at least hoping I recorded it, because if I didn't record it, then I have no idea when I got it. But anyway. Okay, yeah, see, she said the archives have some stuff in them. Check in terminal. Access card catalog. Denied. Access archives. Denied. You are so not helpful. No, I'm not gonna return to Morwa yet. I refuse to accept the defeat. I want to retrieve the archives. Although we're gonna need to be a little bit careful with that, simply because there are raiders in this building, and they would love nothing more than to kill me and eat my insides, probably. So we need to be on the lookout for those raiders. And as you can hear, there are also rad roaches. So uh, let's not okay, close the door. I don't wanna get smacked in the face by the door. There's also bad roaches. So let's look out for those stinky little bastards. Like those two. Not gonna bother with them though because that is a terrible, terrible XP, XP exchange for the amount for the ammo cost. What the heck are you holding? Oh, a 22 MG from New Vegas. And you're holding a combat shotgun though. Oh, 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 oh! We got a fight going on. <laughs> oh man, I love I love the Eve mod. It makes it look so pretty when you do it by people. Hold still. Thank you. Oh wait, no, ah, ah, ah. Got him. You guys are welcome. I'm like totally saving your asses over here, so you're welcome. I mean, I'm doing it with, I mean, I'm technically speaking, I'm doing it with ammo that you guys actually supplied to me, but we'll actually but ignore that part. Turn on the light, it's freaking dark in here. Ooh, ammo. An assault rifle, how's mine? Oh, that's an assault rifle though, not a Chinese one. 
If it was a Chinese one, then I would take it, but it's not. So actually, let's just switch back to the plasma rifle. Water fountain. Ooh, ammo boxes. Five, five, six. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Okay, come on. Come on. There we go. More five, five, six. Jeez. I'm just finding all of the ammo for this thing. Okay, you guys are in here. So I don't need to necessarily worry about any immediate danger. One of you had a sniper rifle. That's pretty cool. Ooh, 12 gauge rounds. I need that. Uh, what did you have? 22 LR. I don't need 22s. Thank you, though. 9 millimeters. Uh, 32 cals. I will take those, though, because that's what my one of my rifles takes. Oh, you guys going to help me? You are, you're going to help me by going to the children's wing. Although apparently that's not where I need to go though. I apparently need to go over here. The media archive. That sucks, I would have really liked to have been able to follow the Brotherhood because they're badasses. But whatever, guess I'm just going to the media archive. And even then, it's still 200 meters away. Alright. I know! What the f- Go- Oh, wait a- Hi there, how are ya? Uh, hope you're not too attached to this leg, it's about to go bye-bye. Man, Raiders really seem to like, really seem to like the 22 LR. That dumbass can't move with a machete. Good luck with that. Silence 22. I don't care about 22 rounds, man. Ooh, I do care about frag grenades, though. Thank you. Always check the bathrooms. Oh, that one gave me bottle caps. Yeah, always check the bathrooms because they might have med kits in them. This one, though, does not, sadly. Oh, the football machine shut down. Not the football, the baseball, sorry. The baseball machine went out of baseballs, so that's good. All right, I need to get around to there, which I think is up more, possibly. It's been a while since I've done this. More rat. My brain instantly thought more rat meat. See, I'm thinking in terms of materials and food right now because I've been playing Fallout 4 a lot recently, and I've been doing it- Ooh, that's scary. I've been playing a lot of Fallout 4 recently, and I've been doing it on survival mode. So it's just like, whenever I see something that could give me materials or food or anything along those lines, I'm like, take it, it's important. <laughs> Open. Are there any mines in here? Nope, just a mutilated body, because why not? It's a raider hideout. Liquid nitrogen, what the heck? Value 20, weight 0, and it's 20 of them. I mean, if you're worth 20 and there's 20 of you and you don't weigh anything, um, yeah, I think I'll take that. Uh, Nuka Cola. Obviously, I'll take some Nuki Coli. Pressure cooker. Uh, ooh, Junk Town, Junk Town Drinky Vendor. Pusher cooker, if this was if this was a New Vegas playthrough, I would take that, because I could use that for the rebreather mask. Uh, but it's not a New Vegas playthrough. Well, technically speaking it is, but you know, it's five pounds I don't really need right now. So I'm just gonna ignore it for now. Well, hello there. Okay, we need to go this way. That's a fucked up corpse. Any more waiters want to jump out and say boo so I can blast them in the face? I would just love that, you know. Okay, I think we need to go around this way. Sneaky, sneaky. I say as I have out a plasma rifle that disintegrates people in the goo. Okay, there are raiders in here. Let's play a little game with them, shall we? Got 
God damn it. <laughs> Kaboom! Oh my gosh, okay. Jesus, get out of here. Motherfucker scaring the shit out of me. Where, where, where are you even going? You know, if you guys want to kill me, you're probably going to have to come at me with something else besides machetes. Just saying. I don't think machetes are going to cut it. Pun intended. Get out of my way, Bill. Ooh, a safe. I apparently don't even have I apparently don't even have 50 lock picking yet, so I can't open that safe. And I don't have 50 hacking either. Okie doke that well sorry, it's 50 science, not hacking. Ooh, bottle caps. Thank you, Mr. Desk. You're my best friend. You gave me money. A Chinese officer sword. No thank you, I'm good. If I turn down the elite, if I turn down the rare zappy zappy variant of that sword, I'm pretty sure I don't want a normal version of it. Although if I did keep the zappy zappy version, I'd be able to use that to repair it. Arlington Library, give me the archives and access the card catalog. Bada bing, bada boom, and we out of here. I could try to stick around, see if I could- that's a quantum, glad I didn't leave just yet. I could try to stick around, see if I can find any preserved books for the lady downstairs, because then she'll give me caps for them. But I'm going to be honest with you, as knowledgeable as it may seem I am about this game, I actually have- ooh, money. Oh, not the right kind of money, but that was the right kind of ammo, though. As knowledgeable... Crap! Ow. As knowledgeable as I may seem like... Oh, how the heck did I miss you? Hello. Anyway, as I was trying to say, as knowledgeable as I may as it may seem like I am about this game. Okay, you're just gone. I was trying to loot you. I actually there are still plenty of things I do not know about Fallout 3. Because I'm gonna be honest, I haven't actually like explored every nook and cranny of the map. I have, and I haven't, and I'm, and I haven't actually done like every single quest. So there is that. Uh, Nuka Cola, thank you very much. I will take that. Yeah, is Tales of a Junk Town jerky vendor? Is that a permanent? Ooh, my look. Is that a permanent boost or? Oh, it is. Give me that. Barter increased by one. Hold up, I'm not gonna leave just yet, actually. Because I wanna see if maybe I can possibly find some of the books that that lady wants, because why not? The children's wing, I think this is where the Brotherhood went into, I think. So it might be slightly safe here. Oh, yep, I can hear them fighting downstairs. That's them. Guns and bullets, too. And 12 gauge shells and stem packs. Oh, man, I'm glad I came through here. Sawn off shotgun. No thanks. I have a combat shotgun. Yeah, look at. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Sorry about that. Three is what I. Five is what I need. 58, that's not bad. Alright, let's get. Let's go downstairs, see if we can help out the Brotherhood in any way. Hey there, how are ya? You're about to be dead, that's how you are. 
Bye bye. Get evaporated into goo. Uh, sorry, I mean disintegrated into goo, not evaporated. Ooh, 32 caliber. Which means you probably had uh, 20 gauge, you don't need that. Um, 22 caliber, which means you should have had the rifle. That is, unless of course I just gooified it along with you. Destroyed books. No, I need preserved books. Preserved books would be nice. Oh, he just pulled out his gun again. Something's here. What's going on, guys? What's up? What's up? Who are we killing? Point me in their direction. I will destroy them. Ooh, a combat shotgun to repair my combat shotgun. Wow, you guys. You guys really cleared out this floor, didn't you? What is that? Darts? Uh, that's for the dart gun. I don't have the dart gun. Although if I did, it's actually really good at crippling death claws, by the way. Come on, I need books. I need preserved books. Preserved books, anyone? Anyone and everyone? Got any preserved books for me? That's a bouncy ball. That's not a book, obviously. Seriously, no preserved books around here. What is this? This just takes me back to the public library part. That's a fire axe. Um, you know, if you want to be a melee person and chop people into little bits and pieces, that'd be the perfect weapon for you. I'm not melee though. I'm Mr. Pew Pew Disintegrate Goo People. Uh, 9mm. I, I don't use 9mm. I will use. Oh, I definitely use 308 though. For sure. Pre war book! Oh, I. I I think pre-war books is what she's looking for. I hope so anyway. Sheet music book. Value 100. Uh, I guess I'll take that then. Okay, so that's one book. Ooh, 12 gauge. I looked in the desk. Alright, so that's one book for her. Let's keep looking around. Get out of my freaking face. Run! Huh, that could have been bad. Uh, I could have just been blown to smithereens because I did not hear- I did not see the freaking tripwire. Fun times, man. Fun times. Love almost getting blown to bits. What's in here? 308? Heck yeah. 10 mil. I actually don't use 10 millimeter anymore, but I'll still take it. I can sell it. 32? I definitely take that. Alright. Let's see... Just keep walking around and found one book. Oh my goodness, hello. Goodbye. Only did that because you were in my way. Otherwise I would have just sneaked past you. Or snuck past you, sorry. Proper grammar, everyone. No, there's no books in here. Just some fans. I would have taken that so fast if this was Fallout 4. No, that's the person I gooified. So this clearly isn't the right way. Uh, I think the Brotherhood ran off in this direction. No, I searched in there already because the door is open. Brotherhood, where'd you guys go? 10 mils. How much is a 10 mil pistol worth? 226 and it only weighs 3. Yeah, I think I'll take that. For sure. Uh, la, la, la. Any, has anyone seen any more books? I'd really like to have some books. What the? Did I just get hurt by a corpse? Gotta love Bethesda physics, am I right? Alright, yo, Brotherhood, for real, where the hell did you go? That one was my bad. That was my bad. Should have seen that coming. The thing had a tab behind it that usually marks trap turret. Don't know what I was thinking. 
Okay. I've searched all of in here already. I think this is literally just a big circle. So I have no idea where the Brotherhood could have ran off to. Unless they ran off back to the entrance, which I mean they very well could have. I mean, you know what, I found one book. I'll consider that I'll consider that enough of a win that I'll go back. Oh hey, it's the dude that I gooified. Yeah, I mean I suppose I'll consider one book good enough. Cause I don't feel like wandering around this library all day just trying to find books for this chick. Empty bottles. Yeah, these are all these books are all destroyed. That's a whiskey. I don't drink alcohol with this, with this character though. Nitrogen, Nuka Cola, cooling component. Not important, apparently. Let's keep moving on. Oh, wait, toolboxes, toolboxes. Conductor hammer, some weird tray, possibly folder thing. Nothing of importance, obviously. More liquid nitrogen and Nuka Cola. It's a nice source of money and health regen right there. Here we go, stem packs. That's what I'm talking about. Check the ladies' room as well. What we got, you got some, ooh, right away stem packs and bobby pins. Now that was a good med box. All right, you two, you done running off? Evening. Murdering people? If that even was you two, I don't even know. Hey, 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 come here, come here. Welcome back. I'll put your book. Excellent. I'll take all the books. Very well. She gives a hundred caps for one book. Jeez, maybe I should come back here later and just and just search around for books. That's a hundred, hundred caps, hundred caps a pop, man. It's pretty good. I'll have to continue that later though, because right now I have a previous engagement that I need to get back to with Morva. Because I actually was a good boy and actually found her the archives instead of just running away after I access the computer. So let's go map. <laughs> Sorry, this is Fallout 3 New Vegas. I have to actually push tab to open it. All right, uh, data, world map. Moira, I'm coming home. So that's that completed. I think that's actually the fastest I ever completed that quest. <laughs> The pop-up thing on the screen that showed me where to go was definitely was definitely actually uh, a good help a good help there. All right, so we were, oh yeah, those things on the bottom pop up whenever I pull my gun out and whenever I use them. So for instance, if I sprint, since that uses AP, the AP meter pops up. Billy. Well, hot damn. Name's Billy Creel. You could take me and Maggie, for instance. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff. Who's Maggie? Oh, sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be mad. It was a pretty bad. I found Maggie. Meg. Okay, you're just a random NPC, actually. So bye. I don't care. Hi, Mora. Is it there? Are there books? Oh, can I go borrow some? Oh my gosh, Mora. Still standing and I've got the archives right here. Really? A whole library's worth of... So what? This is an entire library's archives. You know how valuable that is, right? I suspect you... Oh my goodness, when I'm done with this... Oh, but here's a book of mine, and some caps for your... Yes, that concludes our exceptional expert endeavor. Yes! I have to admit, I was worried it would go over some people's heads. For all your hard work, I want you to have this mini nuke. I kept meaning to use it to dig a well, uh, but uh, honestly, <laughs> it just makes me nervous. Now, I just need to do... Honestly, I can see how that would go. Time to dig. 
moment it hits the ground, she just blows up the whole entire town. Like, good job, Morwa, good job. Looks good. I mean, I'll share these with the traders, and soon, but before that, here's your comp- and she does and she's not exaggerating by the way and she says she'll share this with everybody and soon everybody will know because later on in fallout 4 even all the way over in the boston area you literally find wasteland survival guides and that can give you unique perks and whatnot so it's pretty cool she actually did spread the word around like it went from dc to boston and maybe other places as well guess we'll maybe find out in future fallout games anyway we got the survival perk as a result of your painstaking research for the Wasteland Survival Guide, your survival skills have improved. Can't exactly remember what that means, but it was worth it. I think to use the stuff for my house, I just have to go... I think I just have to go... actually come up to my house. And then the stuff should be in here. Yeah, workbench and reloading bench. I don't have any new bobbleheads. Oh yeah, I forgot to put the gas rifle and the power armor in here. Hello there. Good morning, sir. What can I do for you? I'd like something to drink. I'm sorry, sir. My condensation. Well, that's just lame. Speak with Maura Brown. Tell me a joke. It's common knowledge that you... Tell me a joke. My hum... Alright, goodbye then. Free bottle cap mine. Free wrench. Take those. Here we go. Conversion. SECs to MFCs. Accept. A-OK. Recycling microfusion cells and snowballs. Don't really care about that. Wait, shouldn't I be able to convert ECPs to. No, I need 10 more science for that. It's crap. Reloading workbench. I can make some. Nothing. I can make nothing. Although apparently I could make 44 magnums if I wanted to, which I don't. What do I need to make five, five, sixes? Because I have plenty of cases and I have plenty of lead. I need powder for a rifle and I need primer for a small rifle. Okay then. All right, this locker. Let's drop off. Let's just drop off all of these cases and whatnot because if I can't even do anything with them yet there's no point in keeping them around also let's just drop those in there holes put those in there <sighs> okay well I'm just gonna stop recording for a second I'll be back once I have my inventory things sorted Okay, everybody, uh, we're back. I sorted out my inventory and then... Creepy Nathan. Uh, sorted out my inventory, put, put all my crafting stuff inside my house next to the workbenches. And then I sold Myra some other drugs that I wasn't going to be using. So now we shall figure out what our next quest will be. Not this, that's a new Vegas quest. So we can continue the main stuff, search lamplight caverns. Uh, that's Vegas Agatha's song. Locate Vault Tech headquarters, recover the soil Stradivarius from Vault 92. Don't even remember at what point we got this quest, but I mean, okay. So now we can either choose to continue on with the main quest or we can do some DLC. First DLC I would probably be interested in doing is Not of This World, which is the uh, Mothership Zeta DLC. Uh, local flavor is going to be endgame content, 
meaning that I'm not gonna do that till I'm a higher level because that's like the hardest DLC. Those swamp people are scary as shit. Uh, Into the Pit will be the, probably the one we do right before that. So it would either be Mothership Zeta or, so if you do any DLC, it would be Mothership Zeta. Some of these quests are for New Vegas only since this is, since you know, this is Tale of Two Wastelands. Locate Vault Tech Headquarters. Let's see where exactly Vault Tech Headquarters is. It's right there. I've not yet discovered this location. That's obvious. Vault 92, you have not discovered this. It's Agatha. Oh, that's how we got that. We got that on the way to the minefield. That's how we found Agatha's house. See, optional. So, vault -Tec headquarters is optional. So, we don't necessarily have to go over there. But if we were to, it looks like we'd have to go to the tepid sewers. Then through... Man, it's just drawing some weird route. It's going like that, that, that. And then through there. So it looks like if we go through North DuPont Northeast, we can get to Vault Tech Headquarters. I think first what we'll do is we'll try to go get to Vault 92 first. So let's go. Actually, you know what? Ah! I was going to say, actually, you know what? Let's do the main story and I'll just find Vault 92 off screen and then just tell you about it later because I don't want it because I don't want the series to just be a bunch of side quests so that's actually what we're going to do because I did not mean to fast travel there we'll do pick up the trail search lamplight for a way into Vault 87 lamplight is like all the way over there so to get there, we're going to have to... Why in the world did I come down here? Oh yeah, ten penny, and I just discovered this other stuff while I was down there, actually. Uh, let's go to... So, we're going to have to go to the Charnel house. Hopefully the raiders that were here didn't respond. Respond? Respawn, I mean. I can't even talk right now. Oh, crap! They respawned! They respawned! Holy crap, they respawn. Ah, that's what I was afraid of. Son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Aid. Purified water. Nuka Cola. What are my rads looking like right now? I'm gonna have to take some rad med soon. Uh, let's just take one right now, I guess. Right away. Condition, my arm is almost crippled. Mother f Jesus, man. I was not expecting all of you to respawn like that. And I suppose it makes sense though, because it was what, like three, four, maybe five episodes ago that we cleared this place? So, I mean, in some ways it makes sense, but I mean, still, just, Jesus, man. Don't like that I got instantly bombarded by stuff as soon as I spawned in. Like, that's not okay at all. That's a big ouch right there. I'll pull out the sniper. Because right now we're only in caution, we're not in danger. And if we can keep it that way, I can pick some of them off before they f remember that I'm here. Oh, right, I'll leave that Yagwai to them. You, however, are going down. Goodbye. You guys could possibly be a good source of ammo and money. Y'all are really just persistent wanting to kill that Yaogwai, aren't you? I mean, that's fine by me, I guess. I'm gonna head down. No, those are just bombing. 
Bombing are fine. Did they kill the Yaogwai? Hold on, what is going on over there? Did you guys kill the Yaogwai? Hello? Ooh, shoot. One of them respawned. One of them respawned. Take him out. Haha! Gooified! Reload. 10 millimeters. Weight of only 5 for that value. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright, exit. Okay, Mr. Goo Man. <laughs> I think one of the raiders just got yeeted into the air by the Yaogwai. Oh, that's beautiful. Nine millimeters, I don't use those. Uh, actually, what are they worth? Value of four, there's four of the, uh, No, nah, there's only four of them. So don't worry about taking that. Uh, let's go into the house though. The house might actually have some useful stuff in it. I'm not sure though, because I think I've been in this house before. But I can't really remember all that's in here though. Let's stay crouched though. Because I mean, I don't know if or when those guys are going to come back. Because I mean, Yao Guai is some pretty tough motherfuckers, so for all I know, that Yao Guai could have just destroyed them. All the ammo hasn't respawned yet. It took it last time. But yeah, like I said, Yao Guai's are some tough motherfuckers. So for all I know, the Yao Guai just destroyed those raiders. Nope. No, that's a scavenger, not a raider. Mr. Scavenger. Mr. Scavenger, hey. Oh, yep, I was right. Bear totally destroyed the Yao Guai. What do you need? Nothing from you, apparently. I just said bear destroyed the Yaogwai. I meant yeah, I meant Yaogwai destroyed the raiders. Fuck! Ah! Uh, shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! God, like I said, Yao Guai, tough motherfuckers. Oh, damn. I should have just killed you. I didn't know you had that much ammo. And you had other ammo? Oh, my goodness, my dude. Oh, my goodness. We're hitting the jackpot with this dude. Oh, shit. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Ay, ha ha ha, scary, okay, anyway. Ooh, roving trader outfit. Meeting people, programmer's die dress, salesman weekly. Dude, you just have like, everything. And like, roving trader stuff is actually really good because roving trader, Barter plus five, meaning that when I put this on, right before I sell stuff, I'll get a better, I'll get better prices for it, and it only weighs two, so it makes sense to just carry it around. That's a chainsaw. That's 160 value, but for only, but for 20 weight though. No, I'm good. A varmint rifle. See now that. That's interesting. Damage nine. DPS 13. Damage 17. I uh, know it's not that good. I was gonna say you can put a scope and everything on that, but it's really not worth it. One, because it's badly damaged, and even if it was, even if it was in good repair, the uh, the varmint rifle is more of a beginning game weapon than it is mid to late game. I will take some of that stuff though. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm glad you got ah. God damn it. 
I'm glad you guys decided to go after the, uh, after the Aogwai because you guys definitely, you guys definitely weakened the one that you went after, which made it easier for me to kill it. And apparently the second one decided to show up and you guys weakened him for me too. Definitely appreciate that because I do not like tangling with Yao Guai uh, by myself because those guys are tough because as you just saw, ooh, purified water, because as you just saw, uh, those 12 gauge, yeah, I know I've lost karma. Shut up. No one even lives here. So I don't know why you're saying that. Quantum and Nuka Colas. Ooh, and the chest. I don't even know who lives here, honestly, so I don't care. This counts as stealing. Because <laughs> so it's like no one's even. Oh, I bet it was the scavenger. Scavenger that got killed by the Yagwai. I don't really care about him, though, because. Ah! That was my karma. That was my karma coming back right there. I don't really care about the scavenger that just totally got freaking killed and then I just almost get blown up. That, that, I, okay, I'll, I'll accept that. That was my payback. I'll, I'll take that. Ah, shoot! Did not mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Ah! Well, there go my science improvement magazines. That sucks. Cause I don't feel like reloading because my last reload was over there before I even killed these guys, I think. Here, hold on, let's find out. Let's quick save. Go to load, quick. Oh. Well, it doesn't matter now because I just overrode it. So I just lost multiple science plus 10 magazines. So that's lovely. Oh, shoot. I'm in caution. What is putting me into that caution, though? What are my rats looking like? 79. I'm going to just take another rat away. Let's just get them down. Why am I in caution? That's what I would like to know. I know it's not from raiders because I killed all the raiders. I just killed two Yao Guai. Maybe there was another one around here somewhere. I hope not because those guys are scary. As you just saw, it tanked three shots from a sniper rifle. Um, one of them being a sneak attack, I'm pretty sure. And then continued to charge me. Uh oh. Nope, not Yao Guai. Super mutants. Shit. Ah, well, luckily you guys are using hunting rifles though, so that'll be a good source of 32 ammo for me. Where is the other guy that's shooting? I don't see him. Where is he? I think he might be fighting someone else because I just heard plasma shots and gunshots. Okay, just stay alert. I'm reloaded. That's good. 32 caliber rounds. How's my 32 rifle? Uh, could use a little bit of a top off. So I guess I'll take that. Uh, weapons. This is mine, so we'll maintain that with that one. Okay, who else was just shooting though? That's what I need to know. Who else was just shooting? Because I heard plasma and gunshots. There it is again. Okay, that was an Enclave Eyebot taking something on. A scorpion. Uh, yeah, we're going to stay away from the rat scorpions. Because they, because sure they can't burrow underground in Fallout 3 in New Vegas like they can in Fallout 4. But they're still equally as terrifying once they get close to you. That's an assault, that's an assault rifle. Who is firing? It's over there. What, what, what is going on over there? Uh, 
Oh, Superman versus Bauman. What do we have here? We have a brute. We have. Oh, shoot. We have two brute. One of them has a grenade. Oh, crap. They're coming after this Bauman. Oh, no, 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 no. Just stay still. Stay still. Stay absolutely still. Absolute. Uh, shit. Go for the headshots. Game's over. Shotgun. Close and then shotgun him in the head. Just do it. Ow, he just keeps on coming. Crap, 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 crap. Whew. Yeah. Sure, Yao Guai can be some scary motherfuckers, but, um,. Yeah, Yao Guai can be some scary motherfuckers, but, um... Let me introduce you to Super Mutant Brutes! Fucking hell, tanky-ass little shitheads. Use one of my... One of my super stim packs to heal that... To heal that shit. And give me a purified water. Jeez. Talk about a close encounter. There's lamplight though. So I think we should be okay now. I'm just gonna skip that scan the area though to make sure. Seems like we're okay. So let's get in here. Check out what's going on. Super Stimpak is one up. Yep, I'm gonna have that debuff for a little while, but it's okay. Around right, back here, the back door. There's some stuff in here, I think. Uh, actually, it looks like, ooh. One new glue and electronics. That's actually good. 308s, 556, and 32. All three ammo types that I actually use. Glad I came in here. Wonder glue. That's used for the repair kits, I think. That's just a blown open safe. So nothing else important is in here. Oh, well, we made it to Lamplight. Almost got blown up multiple times. Got shot to a holy hell by some super mutants. We can put the gun away now though. Because now that we're actually at Lamplight, everything should be okay. Because there's no mutants in here until we actually start getting closer to where the vault actually is. McCready is gonna stop us at the gate. Hold it right there, Mister. Hello. Don't take another. You're big. I really need to get the vault 87. We got pretty monsters. The big ones, the green ones. Yeah, super mutants. Yeah, I do, but it's through little lamplight, and you're not getting it. Can I come in? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, okay. Yes! But you better not be lying or else we'll... So grateful that it actually worked. That wasn't even... I love it when I have a speed check that doesn't even Not have a 50% chance of... Sorry, Not even a 50% chance of... of working, but it still passes because I did not feel like having to divert. All the way to hey. the um. Hello. Whoa. I'm... Why do they call you? Bye bye. Is one of you a merchant? Lucy. Who are you? What are you? Medical treatment. Um. Nope, you're not selling things. 
This is just her office. Oh, Journal of Carrie. Don't really care about journals. Uh, oops. I do care about doctor's bags, though. Oh, and ooh, I can steal 32 cal from this desk. Quick save. Hidden. Steal. Wonder glue. Steal. Don't know why there's glue in a medical office, but... Ooh, there's even more ammo and stuff over here. Park stroller, don't care about that. Oop, care about the bottle caps though. What's in these ammo boxes? Energy cells. Railway spikes. Missiles. Most of this is useless to me. Let's check the other room over here. Just cement blocks and like some empty soda bottles and stuff. Nothing super important. Bye sticky. Don't stand there. Get out of here bye bye sticky. Bye bye bye. Hope you don't did a die sticky. No, just kidding. I wouldn't kill sticky. Sticky's a great guy. So far, who knows? Souvenirs this way, which probably, hopefully means okay, yeah. So you get in. You don't make any. Good. All right, let's go. Yeah, I do. Let's do murder pass. That's the, the only, only way. The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. Computer. You're going to go through murder pass, but I. You sure about that? Oh, come on. See, the problem with the computer thing is that you need high science to get the computer working, I think. And, uh, yeah, I don't have, I don't have high science, so that's kind of a problem. Why is the souvenir shop closed? It's only 5 p.m. Bah, whatever. Door. Mayor McCready. Wait, but I saw McCready went off in this direction, though. Didn't I? Yeah, this is Murder Pass. That's his door. This is door. Guessing that other door is where Joseph would be. Hold on, let's go to data. Quests. Uh, I don't know, they both just say door. Alright, yeah, sadly murder pass is the only way we can get through. Oh, we could try to go the other way, but like I said, I'm pretty sure that requires a decent science skill, and I sadly do not have a decent science skill. So we're gonna go through murder pass. <laughs> I just got hurt by a corpse again. Thank you very much, Gan. Okay. Yeah, we got two boots and one with a missile launcher, so we're definitely gonna try to avoid them. Yeah, this is one reason I'm glad I have the stealth suit because cavern full of super mutants does not bode well for my ammo. For my ammo count, because super mutants they are very, very tanky, and they can dish out pretty decent amounts of damage, as you saw back there when I was taking on just two of them. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Please keep walking. Holy shit. Watch that caution meter. Make sure it does not turn to danger. If it turns to danger, we are screwed. But yeah, as you saw back there when I was taking on only two of the Super Mutant Boots. There's some tanky ass bastards and they are scary as all shit. Yao Guai, Death Claws, Super Mutants. All scary motherfuckers. Because like, for real, they, they're all tanky as hell. And they can all... Oh, Jesus Christ. They're all tanky and they can all dish out good damage. Oh, no. 
No, 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 no. Do not come this way. I swear to God. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Stay still. Holy shit. Keep your finger on the fucking VATS button. Oh, oh, oh man. Go. Go, 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 go. Oh my goodness. Yeah, what is up with the multiple quest markers? That's telling me to go back to Lamplight. That's telling me to just keep going. Why? I found the way into Vault 87. I really don't need I really don't need that other quest marker pointing me back to Joseph, okay? Because I didn't. Because I didn't choose to go the Joseph route, okay? I chose to go the sneak past Super Mutants and hope not to get killed route. And of course, this is a dead end. Don't know why they stuck a cow as a trap at, in a dead end. Oh, fucking hell. Don't move. Keep your finger on the VATS button, but don't move. Okay, just sneak past them. It's all gonna be okay as long as we stay in hidden or caution, but not danger. As long as we can keep sneaking on past the mutants, everything will be fine. Don't raise any alarms because the moment you raise an alarm, they'll all come down on top. Son of a bitch, son of a bitch. Don't move, don't move, don't move, just. <laughs> he touched me. Holy sh. Oh, no, 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 no. Fuck! He found us. take that grenade um I think he was about to use that for a second there when I made him drop his hammer that would have been scary honestly uh, I thank God for whoever invented shotguns because shotgun is my savior look at that I was at full health I'm pretty sure and then he smacked me once with his hammer and it took out that much of my health bar like that's just ludicrous Okay, sorry, um, I thought I heard something going on outside my house or whatever, that's why I stopped the video for a second. But anyway, as I was saying, that's like just ludicrous amounts of damage for one hit from a super mutant with that super sledge. Like, this is why I don't like super mutants in Fallout 3. They can be some scary motherfuckers. Like, 3 in New Vegas, hands down have enemies that are a lot more scary than Fallout 4. Fallout 4 I feel like even on Fallout 4 I feel like even on survival mode a lot of its enemies were kind of dumbed down from their three New Vegas counterparts like the Deathclaw for instance. Deathclaws and Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas like, most of the time when you see a Deathclaw in these games, you decide to turn around and run like a motherfucker. Because, like, honestly, Deathclaws... Yeah, I thought I heard something.
Ouch. We're all the way back at Murder Pass again, aren't we? The beginning of it. Yeah, I think so. Alright, well, I'm just gonna cut it here. And then uh, I'll let you know once we get back to, um, to where we were before. Okay, everybody, we're back at the door where we were before. But anyway, as I was saying, 3 in New Vegas had a lot scarier variants of the enemies in Fallout 4. Did Fallout 4 kind of dumb down a lot of the enemies, like especially the Death Call? Because Death Calls are super scary in these games, whereas in Fallout 4, you can literally take on Death Claws with like early game weapons in Fallout 4. It's really not even that hard to kill a Death Claw in Fallout 4 as long as you know how to like utilize the right equipment. Whereas in New Vegas, you can have super, super high powered stuff like the anti-material rifle and whatnot. And you will still 100% get your get your rear end handed to you if that death claw gets anywhere near you. Oh, it has to level up. Whoop whoop, level up. Any second now, it should be giving us the thing. Yep, there it is. Okay. What do we want to level up? First of all, let's get guns up to 60. Uh, repair, 60. Science, 35. What's lockpick at? Lockpick's at 40. Um, yeah, let's get, okay, speech 55, obviously. Let's start getting, let's get medicine at 25. That's better for stamp packs. And then the remaining ones, I think we'll split between energy weapons and sneak. Hit that. Wow, we're only level 13. I forgot we were such a low level so far. Alright, let's click done. Ah, yeah, that's right. That was an odd number, so there's, so there's no perk to choose from. Kind of sucks. I was expecting to choose a perk, but it's okay, I guess. Open the door. Now that we made it, let's quick save just in case. Welcome to the vault, everyone. This is 86. Seven, I believe yeah this is vault 87 so welcome everyone we made it and now we get to get to the fun part of uh, the fun part and I <laughs> when I say fun I mean slightly annoying because it's the part of the quest that has no quest markers you just um, you li you literally just go around and run around the vault until you find the Gek. And that's it. There are no quests, there's no quest marker for this part. You just have to go and find the Gek. Kill these stinking rad roaches because they're in our way. They all only give one XP though, so that's a sucky thing about them. But I mean, ah, <sighs> jeez, right by the door. There's no. We must have more of us to stop the humans. There is no sneaking past these ones. I gotta just blow them up. Walk out! Um, I threw two grenades, not just one. That other one should have gone off. Okay. Go for his gun. And then go for his head. Oh, crap. Hold on. So I have to turn off God mode. So I put on God mode so I could just sprint back to the caverns to get back to where we were before and not waste any ammo and whatnot. I didn't consider it cheating since you only killed the one guy before, so gotta turn it gotta turn it back off now though. Because now because having it on now that we're past there is considered cheating. 
Wait, did I actually blow up that other museum again? I did, I actually blew him up with the grenade. Nice. There is another one somewhere in here though, because I heard his bark. Oh, there he is. Double headshot should take care of him. Or just a single headshot. Because, you know, sneak attack criticals and all that. Open the door to the living quarters. Okay, okay. Open this door. Of course there's one right there. What class is he? Of course he's a brute, but he only has a... What does he have? He only has a baseball bat though. Um, since he's melee, let's go for the legs. We can possibly cripple his leg. If we're lucky. Yeah. We crippled him. So now let's take him down. Yeah. Whenever you see melee enemies, it's always a good idea if you if you think your weapon will be powerful enough to go for the legs because you can cripple their legs and then once their legs are crippled, they move significantly slower. So basically you can just keep backpedaling away from them while you unload more ammo into them. Open the door. Okay, we got one up there that I can positively see. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, it's a brute. It should have just tried to go for the head before we started moving. Crap, where'd he go? He's coming from somewhere. Oh, Jesus Christ! Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh my goodness. Dude, you cannot do that to me. Oh, jeez. Talk about a heart attack. Lose him for one second and he pops back up and he's like, surprise, here I am. God, I hate super mutants. Oh, so, ha 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 hi. Hi, how are you? Um, double headshot. Yeah, no, it appears that normally under normal circumstances, one is enough. But I always like taking, uh, but I always like taking multiple shots because A, you never know if one is going to be enough or not. And B, even if one and B, even if one is enough, you might actually miss the first shot, causing you to have to take a second one. So I just prefer to have the second one already lined up, just in case. Because you know it's never a good thing when you when you try to vat sneak attack somebody and then they're just like, psych, you missed, even though it said 95. Yeah, fun fact for those of you who don't really play Fallout, 95% is uh, Fallout Universe's version of 100% because you will never, ever actually see, oh, jumpsuit, you will never, ever actually see 100% when you're targeting in VATS. It will always only be 95 or lower. There is no 100%. Which is which is very fascinating, and whatnot. Okay, where did I come from? I think I came. Yeah, I came in from that door, which means he must have come in from around here, because all the other doors on the other sides don't have stair access. That's blocked off. Can't get in there. Yeah, here we go. He came in from this door. Ooh. Okay. Hello there. Always turning out to be brutes. Why is it always brutes? Please kill him. Nailed it. Woo. Nice. 
Not gonna lie, that one had me scared for a second. And also, by the way, a fun fact here, we there there are these sinks here in the vault, so I'm I'm just gonna give you guys a little tip. Uh if you for some reason ever come into the vault and you are low on healing items, but you have plenty of anti-rad medication, what you can do is when you get injured, you can come here. These sink these sinks give you five of your HP back. Thing is though, they also give you five rads. So for every HP that gets restored, you also get you also get rads. But I mean as long as you have plenty of anti-rad medication like Rad X and Rad Away, you should be okay. I should know because I have done it before. And I mean, I didn't actually get super high radiation poisoning from it either. So it is doable if you're in a tight spot. But I mean, my best advice I can give you is try not to get in that tight spot though, because... Mm. Try not to get in that tight spot though, because um, yeah, rats. Uh, a minigun master? Come on, you've got to be kidding me with that. That's my only way across there too. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, if I can take... If I can take out his minigun. I might possibly have a chance. Okay, I took out his mini gun. No, I didn't. He picked it back up. Hey there, Brutus. How are you? Brutes down. Reload. The, the master's bound to be coming through the door any second. Target the minigun. Do not let him keep using that. Oh shit. Quantum, quantum, quantum. Where's the new recall quantum? Ah, ah. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is gonna this is getting tight up in here. I can't, I can't see percentages. Okay, this is not good. Put both into his mini gun. Okay, mini gun should be broken now. Now let's just blast him in the head. Ah, he picked up another gun, crap. Get that one out of his hand. Just keep it so that he doesn't have a gun. Ah, he picked it back up again. There we go, he dropped it, he dropped it, he dropped it. Ooh, he's about to hit us. Go for the head. Ow, that's defense will help with that punch a little bit. Okay. We got him. We got him. Oh my goodness, that was absolutely terrifying. Drink a purified water, drink a Nuka Cola. Once those wear off, if we need to, take a stem pack as well. Oh, jeez, man. Honestly, I thought that Super Mutant would. I thought I thought that Minigun Master was gonna be be the death of us. I really was. What the heck? I blasted his minigun all the way across the hallway. Apparently, that's fascinating. All right, let's just quick save. So that way, if we do get killed, we don't have to f go through that fiasco again with the master. 
because that was terrifying. Yeah, that minigun would have absolutely destroyed us probably if I wasn't able to get it out of his hands. Okay, we got a dude being weird peeking through the window. What's up, peeping Tom? Say goodbye to your head. You don't actually need your head to survive, right? Nice, we got plenty of microfusion cells over here. Love that. Average locked. I think I'm still only in the 40s. For my uh, lock picking, wonder glue, wonder glue. Paint gun, don't need a paint gun. Although I would laugh, that was actually a weapon and I could just spray paint at people. All right, what do we got? We got two boots. Okay, again, I threw two grenades, not just one. Crap, they have guns. Ah, that's the problem. I wasn't throwing them far enough. I hate that. Freaking grenade drop off. Ah, I'm crippled in multiple places. That's just lovely. Okay. Get that health back. Uh, drink a Nuka Cola. What's my wad's looking like? Not bad yet, still. So let's drink a Nuka Cola again, along with a purified water. What was that? And then let's quick save. And try the grenade method again. Okay, he keeps getting blown up. You're right there. Headshot for you. Critical strike. And that's two. Five, five, sixes. Do not mind if I do. Thank you so much for your generosity. What else you guys got for me? Nothing? All right then, I'll just open this door then. <laughs> and we'll be on our merry way. I almost just killed myself with my own freaking grenades, but I didn't, so we're all good. Test labs, here we go. Now we're getting close to where the Gek is. Oh! <laughs> no thank you. Go away. Don't want what you're selling. There you go. You guys want you guys wanted more green stuff? There you go. There's plenty of green stuff right there for you. Okay, that one's broken. Uh, drop that. Uh, and mine's actually in full repair, so drop the other one too. I will check these ammo cases though. 10 mil. Locked hard. Crap. Hoping that I could have actually gotten that, but it's okay. Ooh, locked easy. I can open this. What you got for me? 32s. Nice. You got me a some bottle caps. The rest is unimportant. So let's just keep on going. Ah, oh, yes. All of the scary test subjects. Do not go into those rooms, by the way. They will irradiate the absolute crap out of you. We have to find the room where strong is being kept. Strong is the key to this area. Got another Brutus right here. Uh, his health, there we go. Now that he turned around, that should be a 95% chance. Bye bye. Super Mutant's Brutus has been glorified. Got a centaur coming at us. 75% chance on his head, take it. Centaur is gone as well now. Centaurs honestly are absolutely terrifying. They are so flipping ugly. He had nothing on him. 
That's not where strong is. I think strong should be in here. There he is. Yep. Strong. Yes, I'm him, but what are you? Intelligence. Yes. Forgive my nice. What do you know about the Gek? I know what it is. Why would you help me? Because let me out of this place. Take you. Let's At the end of the hallway. Inside. Oh, a word of warning, though. Trip me. So. Alright, and now we're gonna come over here. We do have to be careful though, because as Fox just said, this opens up all the other ones. Which in that one, there's nobody. And that one though, there's a centaur. And I think in this one on the right, there's also a centaur. Then the one on the left. Nope, no centaur in the left. So yeah, we're, we're going to be unleashing at least two centaurs if we do this. Oh yeah, plus not to mention, I forgot you have to get past two, two super mutant boots before we can even access the panel. Okay, how did that even hit me? I'm outside the room. Like seriously, I'm outside of that. Jeez, oh, it's freaking annoying. Okay, anyway, it's whatever. They should be charging forward. Yep, there he is. Double headshot him. Or just single, that's fine, I guess. He's down. Reload. There's the next boots. Headshot. And he's down. That should be all of them because that other red dot we're seeing is just the centaur. Stand up, average. Once activated, the fire alarm can't be controlled. Activate the fire alarm. Wait, what do I need to do to do that? I thought I just needed to activate it. Uh, optional rescue fox. Trying to blow it up. Now I'm pretty sure I just needed to activate it, right? Yep, that's it. Hi, Sid. And goodbye, Sid. Yeah, I forgot about Sid. I knew there were centaurs, but I forgot about Sid. Okay, that should have now released Fox. Indeed it did. Finally! Freedom! Proof! You have no now. Now Fox should lead us to the Gek and help us with any super mutants we run into along the way. But I'm still gonna have out my plasma rifle because while Fox can't die, uh, the super mutants still might try to attack me instead of just focusing on him. And I don't really feel like taking that chance. So yeah, we'll just let Fox take the lead on this. And hopefully he can beat the living crap out of any mutants we come across. Like that guy right there. Go get him, Fox. Yeah. Yeah, beat him up. Beat him up. You got this. Beat him up. Yeah, he's dead. Well, let's try to get at least one shot on this dude. That way we can get some of the XP from him when Fox kills him. Oh, 
and now Fox can finish him off. And we'll get some of the XP because we damaged him. What did this guy have? Oh, 32 caliber as well. But Fox says we're going this way, so we'll be going this way. Did his jacket just... Go get him, Fox. I believe in you. You got this. Whack. 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 Ow! Does it do with a hammer charging at you and you're still trying to shoot me? Alright, Fox got another one coming. Let's make this a fair fight, shall we? Oh, well, at least I thought I was going to make it a fair fight. Ah, uh, no, not Fox. Go back. Go back. Hey, Brutus. No guns allowed. Beat him up, Fox. Get him. Uh-uh, you're not getting that gun back. No way. I said no guns. And I meant it. Dude, how many times do I got to do this? No. No gun. Put the gun down, sir. Critical strike on Fox. What? I wasn't shooting at Fox. And we are beat him up. Beat him up. Beat him up. Uh, he can't even hit him. That's the problem. He keeps swinging, but he's missing. Guess I'll just have to finish him off for you, buddy. Oh, wow. Okay. He exploded. Well, well that was fun. Shall we continue on, Fox? Indeed we shall. On he goes. With his mighty sledgehammer. Oh my goodness, hello. Drop the gun. Where is he go- Where the F is he going? Uh, he was going to find the closest gun, wasn't he? Yep, he was going to find the closest gun. Uh-uh. Not on my watch. No. Yeah, it's right, you wounded. No guns. Drop it. Bad super mutant. Trying to make this an unfair fight against my boy Fox. You don't get to do that. I will screw you up so hardcore. Onward. Fox, that'll help. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Fox, where are you? Help me, please. Fox, go. Need your help, buddy. Is a super mutant master up there that has a hankering to blow me up. Ah, uh, screw it. Use a doctor's bag to heal all my limbs. Then we're gonna drink another Nuki Cola, and I think my last purified water. Fox, 
Fox, help! Yeah, beat him up! Yes, murder! Wacky with a stick, murder! I love Fox, man. Fox is like such a beast. Just casually shrugging off the fact he's getting absolutely peppered with machine gun bullets just to continue smacking the absolute crap out of him with a, with a hammer. It's absolutely badass. Yo, how much ammo do I have this thing now? 789. Maybe I should be using this. I mean, I don't see any reason why not to. I mean, I have plenty of ammo for it now. I mean, sure, it's automatic, but... Almost 800 rounds should be enough to last for a decent amount of time. Metal armor. Nothing else that's useful. Scrap electronics, however, are useful. Quick save. Stim pack. Yeah. Oh, hold on. What was that? Oh, just a cup and surgical tubing. Ah, this is where Fox comes in handy. Okay, you stay here. I'll get the case and bring it right back. And he has it, and now he's coming back. Hello, Fox. As promised. Uh, maybe. We'll meet again somewhere in the wasteland. Indeed we will, Fox. Indeed we will. Hopefully, when I actually meet you, I'll have high enough karma to actually be friends with you. You don't have the strength to sprint with this weapon. Well, you know what? Screw you too. Now we need to get out of here. That's locked hard. So that's obviously not the way to go. Ah! Uh... We got imp stunned. Zappy zap stunned. And of course it was by the Enclave. Objective is secured, sir. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertiberg. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it. You see, what I really, really, no really want to know. Yes, sir. He'll pass out shortly, but we can revive him. Excellent. Prepare him for transport immediately. Right away, sir. What I really, really want to know is if all that radiation in that chamber somehow managed to kill your dad and two Enclave officers in power armor that was this radiation. How did Colonel Autumn survive when he had no power armor or any sort of protection, just like your dad? So, you're awake. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier and... Let me out. If you tell me the code. Fuck you, you're not getting anything from these lips. No way. I'll be honest. You... No, seriously. Fuck you. Why do you insist on provoking me? Because you're a little bitch. Tell me the code now. Now. Okay, everyone, we're back. Game crash. Sorry yes, about that. Sir. Luckily, the game actually creates crash saves to go back to. So the game crashes. Ah, alone at last. Hello. 
I do apologize for Colonel Auden's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. Uh huh. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you heard my radio broadcasts. <sighs> They're pretty annoying, yeah. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. You would? I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. Doubtful. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. Thanks. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry. Whatever you say, my dude. Time to quick save again open and these are all my things so we're going to take all annoying thing though is that oh no I don't have to re-equip all my hotkeys this is ah level up okay cool you can make energy weapons 55 then and sneak 65 uh, let's get science up to 40 repairs fine Guns all you at 60, so that's fine there. I want medicine to be up at 30, and then we have one point left. Let's put it into speech, cause why not? And this is where we get to choose a perk. You can put a single point into any of your attributes. Craft ammo at the reloading bench using alternate materials. Scrap metal in 10 cans, no thanks. 10% damage against male opponents. Uh, hacking gets easier and you use chems. Gun nut. With each rank, so I could take the third rank of this. Spread is reduced in item condition. I could do lady killer, light touch, little eager, retention, swift learner, thief. 10% movement speed and 5% pickpocket chance, cannibal, child at heart, comprehension, iron fist, run and gun could be useful, scoundrel, 10% discount and more XP for speech checks, bloody mess is always a good one, 2% damage threshold and 10% faster while you have a companion, gunslinger, not particularly great, shotgun surgeon, no, Grunt, definitely not. Charisma is increased. Quick Draw, that could be useful. Finesse, this is awesome. This, finesse is a good one. Have a higher chance to score a critical hit on an opponent, equivalent to five points of luck. Or I could go for here and now and get and put more points, but I don't think that's worth it. Misfortune, Mr. Sandman. Again, the option to silently kill any human or ghoul and all Mr. Sandman kills. Yeah, see, this isn't as good as it is in Fallout 4, because in Fallout 4, this also gives you silence to weapon damage. You can have 20% health bonus when using stem packs. Maybe. Running no longer effect factored into a sneaker. Ah, hit an opponent's head is increased. I need to skeleton contract kill a lawbringer, light step, purifier, the finder. No, you know what? I think we're going to go for possibly gun nut three. Yeah, you know what? Let's just round off gun nut. Let's get that final bit of damage and spread reduction. Level 14 with good karma. So yeah, that's my gun. That's a gun. 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 And uh, Stimpax is on eight. It, once again though, for some reason, uh, unequipped my frag grenades. It really likes doing that for some reason. Don't know why, but yep, that is that. Uh, so I think we're actually going to call it a, well, I look very spooky in this lighting. Uh, let's get some better lighting going on here. There we go. I think we're actually going to call it a 
part here. That was actually a pretty productive one, honestly. We finished the Wasteland Survival Guide and we made it through Vault 87 and got the Gek. So that's actually pretty, pretty good episode in my opinion. But uh, next time we're going to do the part where we go through the Ravenlock Enclave base here and then we'll see where we go after that. But in the meantime, I'm Captain Canadia and this has been Fallout 3. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.